Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Eric with IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas, and we're ready to start another tutorial today. I'm going to go over a quick how-to on our website. It was a blog post on the 6th of January 2012, and I'm going to bring up our website here, itconflict.com. And let's go to the blog. And you'll see here January 6th, how to reset a wireless router. So what this tutorial talks about is it's it's basically if you've ever come, if you've set up a wireless router in your house or you had someone set it up for you and you didn't write down the username credentials, the admin creds, which is the username and password, and you don't know what those are and you for some reason need to log on to the router, if you've lost that access, then what we're going to talk about today is how to reset the wireless router, or first how to troubleshoot to see if maybe we can use a default username and password to get logged into the router. But if all else fails, you know we're going to show you how to reset the wireless router and and be able to reconfigure it from there. So going over this post, it talks about your default, uh, you know, a couple things when you do set up a wireless router. Uh, or when you set up a router to a couple things to write down to keep either on a post-it with the router get creative and use a some of that label a, a labeling tape or just simply bring up a notepad and type this information down but this is the info you want to write when or you want to keep when you set up a router and that's the router IP address which is typically 192.168.0.1 or 192.168.1.1 and you want to write down the username for most cases the default is admin or administrator and you'll know this once you set up the router and the password is either going to be blank or password a um, couple things you also want to write down is the wireless SSID key. I'm sorry, the wireless SSID, which in this case for this tutorial I just put my wireless network, and the wireless key, which is the password you use to log on to the wireless network. So you want to write all this information down, keep it in a safe place in case you ever need to use it again. So let's say you've lost access, the person that set up your router is gone, you can't get a hold of them, you you set it up yourself, you forgot the information, it finally came uh, a time when you actually needed to log into the router and you don't have the the access information. Um, we really have two options at this point. You can either one guess the username and password which is like I mentioned earlier by using the default username and password which comes with the router or worst and last case scenario you can reset the wireless router but keep in mind when you reset the wireless router you'll be losing all the configuration information on there any special settings you had any IP reservation that'll all be lost so you want to make sure that this is a basic and simple network and if it is I'm fully confident and know that you'll be more than capable capable of resetting the router and reconfiguring it at least with our help so what we're going to do first is you want to guess the username and password in order to do this let's assume that I'm not on the internet and I'm trying to get logged on so I'll just bring up let's bring up Internet Explorer and again I'm gonna pretend like I don't have internet access so I can show you guys here but first thing you want to do is bring up Internet, um, whatever your browser is, if it's Firefox, Google Chrome, or Internet Explorer, just bring up a web browser. And you want to type in the default IP address. Now there's two ways you can get the default. You can either, one, guess it, which is either going to be 192.168.0.1 or 192.168.1.1. 90% of routers that are sold today are either going to be one of those two. Another way you can get the IP address that's assigned to that router is by going to start, typing in CMD, that's Cat Mary David, and you want to launch the command prompt. And you would just type IPconfig and then hit enter. 
and it'll actually display the default gateway and the default gateway is the router's IP address and in my case that's 192.168.1.1 so we can close this down and to access the router all I'm going to do is type in 192.168.1.1 and we hit enter You'll see this prompt here that it's telling me to, in order to access the Netgear WNDR3700 version 2 wireless router, I'll need to type in a username and password. Now, I'm almost certain that I know these for my own, uh, but let's just pretend like I don't and I'm going to just guess. So we'll just say admin and we'll try password. Didn't work. No big deal. I'm going to try admin and a blank password. Didn't work either. Oh, wait a minute. I remember what my ID is, or what my password is. There we go. So I have logged into my router control panel. This is the master control panel. Anything I want to do with this router, if I want to change any basic settings, wireless settings, my login credential, username and password, I would log into the router first and make all those changes here. So let's assume that you don't have this information, you don't know what yours is, and you're trying to access your router. Well, if you remember before I got in here, that router login, that little prompt that asked me for a username and password, there's where you would guess the different um, default username and passwords. You can try admin, for the username and password for password. You can try administrator and password for password or you can try using admin and a blank password. Try using different variations of the, combina of the combination of the two and, and see what you can come up with and, and see if it uh, allows you to get in. You can also try and going to this website routerpasswords.com and routerpasswords.com will let you choose the router you have and so let's see, let's see, that gear. It'll let you choose the router you have and just click find password. And you'll see all the different username and passwords here it has for that particular router for different models. And for my case, the WNDR, let's see if they have it in here. I don't think they do. It doesn't look like it's up to date. Um, well, they don't have mine in here. I don't, at least I'm not seeing it. But most likely, it's saying that mine would be admin and password, which is the default. So you can, again, come to routerpasswords.com, find your router, and click Find Password. In the event that the default does not work and you've tried, exhausted all efforts, you've looked on the net, you've gone to routerpasswords.com, you've tried contacting your old IT guy, uh, you looked all over the place for the little piece of paper that you wrote it down on, and you just can't find it. To be able to get into this router, we will need to reset the router. And the way you do that is simply turning the router around, looking at the back of the router, and this is actually a picture of a back of a router, and you want to find the reset button. Now in this case, the reset button is right next to the power button, or, I'm sorry, the power plug. So next to the power plug, between the power plug and the internet plug, we have our reset button. All you want to do is some find something that's thin, needle-like, and just press and hold that reset button while the router is plugged in and on and you're connected to it. Press and hold that reset button for 15 to 30 seconds. If that doesn't reset it, press and hold the reset button for up to one minute. And still, if that doesn't reset your router, unplug your router from the unplug the power source from your router, press and hold that reset button for one minute, and that will reset your router. Once you've reset your router, you can come. Oh, once you've reset your router, if you've unplugged the power, plug it back in. If you're wireless on your router at one time, I want you to be directly plugged into your router into one of these extra ports using or one of these available ports using an Ethernet cable from your computer to the router. And you're, we're going to want to reconfigure the router. So most likely, again, you want to try one of these IP addresses 
if you want to get the default IP address, again, bring up a command prompt and just type in ipconfig. Default gateway is right there. And to access the router and begin configuring the router, you would just bring up a window here and type the router's IP address. And there you go. It's asking me for a username and a password. I would just type admin and password. And these are the defaults for mine that would get me in. So again, guys, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them on the comments section on youtube.com forward slash IT conflict. We're on Twitter. You can find us at twitter.com forward slash IT conflict. And our Facebook page is facebook.com forward slash IT conflict. Again, this is Eric with IT conflict, computer repair in Austin, Texas. Thanks for watching.